Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. And today we're gonna to be talking about this. With only three lights, we can get this incredible look. So stay tuned. Okay, before I start, there is one rule to lighting that I follow, and that is set your camera before you set the light. You wanna avoid setting your lights first and then having to find the idiest, bittiest, smallest spot for your camera to fit. And then someone knocking it over and it crashing and dying, and you can, just, let's avoid that. Let's not do that. Overall, just set the camera first, then we'll work on the lighting. Now that that's out of the way, let's talk about actually lighting your scene. The first thing you want to remember is light your subject first. If there were a second rule, don't be fooled, there's not a second rule, but if there were to be a second rule, it would be light your subject, talent, actor, actress first, and then light your background. The main light that we use for your subject is called the key light. So let's go ahead and turn this key light on and see what that looks like. So I've turned the key light on, but it's very bright. So let's drop down the ISO to get a cleaner image. 1250 all the way down to 125. That already looks like a cleaner image. Okay, that took a second, but I finally got the softbox set up. And you can see I do have this thin layer of diffusion on it. This light is very, very bright. And when you just have the light, it is too harsh on your face. So we're gonna add this thin layer of diffusion to make it nice and soft and creamy around your face. Before we move on, you also wanna turn off your room lights. They're not very flattering, just, just get rid of them. If you have these lights lighting you, you don't need the room lights at all. But if you only have one light set up, this would be it. You would have one bright light, a nice diffusion to get that soft lighting across your face, and you're done, you're set. But if you want to move on, keep watching. Okay, now that we have the key light set up, we can move on to the background. The color of light that you're getting from the key light is gonna be very similar to what you'll get at around 9 a.m., maybe 2 p.m., that afternoon-ish light. The light that you get from the background is gonna be that golden hour, that very orangey type color. For lighting, I'm gonna use a Godox SL60W and the Yagnuo YN216. On the Yagnuo, I do have this filter right here attached to it to give it that warmer look um, as the Godox SL60W gives out about 5600 Kelvin. This will give about 3200 Kelvin and it'll give that good dynamic between colors. Okay, great. We have a light in the background. It's nice and warm. It's not too intrusive, not too bright. We dimmed it just enough to where it looks great. And we have a nice soft light coming here. It's very bright and illuminating my face. So I feel like we can add one more light. The color in the background is orange and orange and teal are contrasty colors. It'll give a very nice, a very clean look. So let's turn on the teal light that I've got right here. Look at that. That looks incredible. You have contrasty colors right here. You have a nice light coming this way. It's a very good dynamic. The next form of lighting that I have is going to be these LEDs that I've got hooked up on the back of my computer. If you don't have LEDs like I do right here, you can use a second Yagnuo light. These guys come in a kit and you can just shine that same light with a blue filter, which they do have actually. Where is it? Where is it? Ha -ha! They do have a blue filter that you can also throw on top and you can just shine it across this wall here. And that's it for your one light setup and the two others that you have in the We don't count those lights, okay? Those don't count as lights. You can literally take your flash and just throw it on the wall. Don't throw it. Like you want it, you want it to, to look nice. You don't want a hole in your wall, okay? You want it to, now that we've set up all the lights, what we need to do next is fix the frame because this frame is not very pleasing. It doesn't look that good. So what I'm gonna start with is I'm gonna start with changing the background on my computer to give a more pleasing look. Okay, we filled the frame up with a couple things and I think it looks really nice now. The last thing that we need to do is make the set look presentable. We don't want these cups in here. We don't want any of this trash looking, you, know, you don't want people to know who you really are. You wanna be fake in front of the camera. You wanna look like you're a well-presented guy who makes his bed in the morning. <laughs> yeah, so let's clean this up. And we're done. All you really needed to do was set up a nice key light, a couple backlights, clean up your frame, and boom, your video is instantly more professional. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and like it. Leave a comment on what you would like to see in the future. And if you didn't enjoy the video, give it a thumbs down. Tell me that it sucked. Tell me that I'll never make it in life. This is why I stopped YouTube in the first place.
But that's it. I'll catch y'all later. Bye. And like try to squeeze your camera into the smallest, idiot little, smallest part in the frame. I mean, you don't want to set your camera.